A traffic scandal in New Jersey is backing up all the way to the governor's mansion. Emails, texts and other communications link several people close to Governor Chris Christie to a multi-day lane closure that caused a massive gridlock approaching the George Washington Bridge, a vital link to New York. Christie, a potential Republican candidate for president, wasn't seen in public Wednesday, but released a statement late in the day. He said, I am outraged and deeply saddened to learn that not only was I misled by a member of my staff, but this completely inappropriate and unsanctioned conduct was made without my knowledge. Top New Jersey Democrats are furious. Government does not exist so that political operatives can punish mayors or communities. And that's what happened here. In emails obtained by the Associated Press, Christie aide Bridget Ann Kelly wrote, time for some traffic problems in Fort Lee. David Wildstein, the governor's top appointee to the Port Authority of New York and New Jersey, wrote back, got it. I do not believe the governor called the Port Authority and said close some lanes. But I did say I hold him responsible for the atmosphere. Now, finding that that atmosphere existed in his own office is what I find really troubling. The emails and text messages appear to have been engineered as political payback against Fort Lee Mayor Mark Sokolich for refusing to endorse Christie over his Democratic rival in last year's race for governor. How anyone can intentionally do this to my town for absolutely positively no reason other than political pettiness. Christie aide Kelly had no comment Wednesday. Wildstein and another Christie appointee to the Port Authority have since resigned. Wildstein is scheduled to testify Thursday before the state assembly, but is fighting the subpoena. Matt Friedman, Associated Press.